Alright guys, thank you for joining us back here today on the channel. We are still working on the Model T, so this would probably be like part 6 or something. Um, I'm going to do a couple things on it here. Um, as you can see, we got the tent up here. So we got this ready to go. Got the Model T underneath there. So, just keep it out of the rain for right now because our garages that we do have are like full of other junk. So, yeah, this works good right now. So. Before we get started, hit that subscribe button, the like button, let a comment, and we'll get started. All right, so we got the radiator out here. Um, what I was doing is just trying to clean up this brass, just so it kind of looks nice. And then trying to clean out um, the actual radiator part. clean it up with the wire wheel um, it has been cleaned up somewhat but I'm gonna just try to clean up a little more some paint on here um, we got some special radiator paint from Eastwood we'll show you what that looks like but we're gonna go ahead and set the time-lapse up and then clean this up and then get it painted alrighty guys this is what we got for the radiator to paint with um, it's from Eastwood. Um, I didn't open it yet, but we'll get this opened here real quick. Yep. All right. There it is. That's what it looks like. Um, we'll have to read the instructions to see how, what to do with it. But that's what it is. It's from Eastwood. Just radiator black. Boss finish. So we'll get this put on. Got the time lapse set up and in the USA. Alright guys, so there's the exhaust pipe. Um, not sure if this is galvanized or not. Uh, we got this new, I think we got it from Lang's old car parts. Um, but yeah, I don't know if it's galvanized or not, so we're going to just take some clear coat and clear coat over that. Um, this is an engine ammo, engine enamel, I can't talk today for some reason. Withstands heat up to 500 Fahrenheit. So yeah, we're going to put that on there. I don't know that it would get higher than 500 degrees, but. So we're just going to throw a coat on there, a coat or two probably of this, and then. Maybe we can put that on the car, I'm not sure. But. Today what I'm gonna do is the cow here. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Um, but it's basically like your firewall and everything. And so this would be like your firewall, I guess, your cow. Um, it really wasn't too bad. Just this one corner here had some rust. Um, it's pretty well rusted out. I got some pieces cut for here, I'm gonna put in here. Um, I'm gonna put that one in there, and then we got a little bit thicker metal here. I got a weld on right about there for um, a, a brace, like this one right here. And yeah, so I gotta put that on, put these couple pieces on, and then this will be about done too. So we're gonna go ahead and start welding this, or finish cutting it, and then weld it. Alright guys, we got this piece welded on here, ground down. Um, basically we did one piece here, 
going in right up along here, right along here. Ooh, that's hot. And then I put the brace piece right there. Load that on. So I put that on, load that up to about here. Then I just put another little square piece right in here. Just finish that off. And it looks pretty good. I mean, yeah, it's not perfect. I have to take some body filler in there once we get it primed. And sandbox it, prime it, don't put a body filler. And we'll just fill it and make it look pretty, but that gives it a good support. These are on there. This stuff's really solid on there and good. Gives it a good support and everything. So, yeah, I think that's about done with this piece here. I'm probably about ready to sandblast them. Alright guys, we got that on there, got the bands on, got it bored to the frame down there. Alright, so the one-off valve I think is right here, but the handle's broken off of that, so, and to buy a whole new one of these is pretty expensive. So what we did instead is we just bought this piece right here, which just goes in here. And basically, that's your fuel shutoff valve then. So you just take this one out, put this one in, and it just replaces that, but you get a valve then with it. So I'm going to put that in there real quick, and then maybe we'll hitch up the gas line. Alright, so there's that on there. Just twist this, so now we got a fuel shutoff valve. Um, yeah. Alright, so our other battery wasn't doing a whole lot, so we took it over to Battery Warehouse, tested it, said it, I guess basically it was no good. Got us a new battery. Um, you put
put the he did clean the um, battery holders up, put them on. So got that charging right now because it is kind of dead because we have been trying to start it and stuff like that. Um. Yeah, we've been trying to just get this so we can temporarily run it. So make sure you stay tuned for that because that will probably be next episode. We're going to just try to get this driving. So that's what, why you see this, 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 all this temporary stuff. Because we want to have a little fun with it first. So make sure you stay tuned if you want to see this thing drive. Probably next video. Um, one problem we're having is with the key switch here so if any of you guys know what this problem is please let us know in the comments because we're not real sure we have a wiring diagram here that came with our wiring kit and we hitch it up the way it says basically we have a wire here from the battery one wire that runs to the voltage regulator and when we hitch them up the way it says we're getting a constant drain showing on our um, amp meter here well, not constant. Constant. It's reading. a constant reading on our ammeter here. All right, so we have it wired up how our diagram says, except for the alligator clip here, because I don't think our kit came with this wire. There's supposed to be a wire that runs from here to here, and also we're not sure which side these two go on. So if you know that too, um, the yellow one I'm pretty sure goes to the battery. The yellow with the black tracer goes to the voltage regulator. Right now we have the yellow with the black tracer on the discharge side and the battery on the charge side. I'm not sure if that's right or not. But anyways, as you can see, our key switch is off. And we're getting a constant reading here of like discharge of like about 10. Wait, this so is So we're not sure what that is. So when we let the battery hitched up and this hitched up, it dies. And yeah, that doesn't do anything to turn it off. So we're not sure what that is, so if any of you guys know what that is, please let us know because that's a problem right now because our battery keeps dying when we let this hitched up. Alright guys, thanks for watching. We've got the radio on here, you can see. Um, yeah, if anybody you know about that wiring situation with the key, that would be helpful. Um, next video, we should be driving it. So, stay tuned for that. Uh, as always, like, subscribe, leave a comment, and we'll catch you later.